Woo. What's up, Fishbox friends? What's up, Fishbox friends? Hope you guys enjoying the day. We're having a great day today. We decided to vlog because my brother here got his new hairstyle. Check this out. Check it out. Look at this, John. Kobe hooked you up, bro. Let me yeah. see. Let me see over here. He got. Look, let's, let's see that little baby hang time he got. <laughs> got a little hang time, bro. What you think of the new hairstyle, bro? Man, I've been loving it, bro. I've been getting, been getting a lot of love for it too. Oh yeah. Then your brother told me you acting brand new now, bro. With the new <laughs> hairstyle, man. Nah, it looks good though, brother. It looks good. You man. look less less Ryan Garcia, but you still look good, brother. Man, I appreciate so it, bro. Don't think we gonna go easy on you today just because you got your new hairstyle. <laughs> nah, never. All right, good, good, good. So yeah, we're gonna vlog today. Uh, we got actually something new, as you can tell in the title. We got a new service, which I'll show you guys about later. Got plenty of work to do. We just got our rally coffee here. Two cups. Look at this right here. Of course, you know we got the rally, number one. Number two, about to get to work, take care of the store, open up. See you on a little bit. Election? Is it the? Oh, I think it might, it might be. be the pre, the the preliminaries or something like that. It might be. Okay. So you you trying to work that day, bro? You trying That's to put some hours bro. in? All right. You can put some hours in now. Now that you got your raise, you good to go. <laughs> you got you got your raise. You got your new hairdo. You got off on Tuesday, bro. You all brand new now, bro. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Mariana? How you doing today? Good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. I appreciate that. Of course. Just this one? Oh, and this one, a mystery package. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Have a great weekend. Thank guys. you. You too. Thank you. Just work, working at Fish Box. I'll show. He wants to show you something. Get that over there and show him. Hey, Nolan. What's that? <laughs> oh, it's got bugs in there? Well, you can put bugs in it. And then, then the magnifying glass, you can look at it. Oh, yeah. I remember you bought me one of those when I was little. Yeah. Did he catch any bugs yet? <laughs> he, like, he seems to like, oh, he want to show you. He got some, he got some dead ones. What's that? <laughs> la ladybugs? Yeah. Oh yeah, put him under the microscope. He did. He think he, he, he said he gonna put some magic on and bring him back alive. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Mm-hmm. So he did all of his homework except for one page. Okay. Oh, I gotta go. Customers here. I'll call you guys back. Eighteen two three eight with an Onyx dial. Ooh, they got the line right in the middle too, bro. <laughs> Hey, so what's up, y'all? So I know y'all saw the title. We have a new service that's coming out. And one of the reasons why we want to add more services is because it makes the service a little more sticky. Meaning that if you have more things that you can do at your mailbox store, it'll make it harder for customers to cancel. So recently, we've been having a big request for this service. And I'm going to open this up while I'm talking about it. Customers have been telling us that they wanted us to shred papers for them. And I noticed that some of y'all out there got y'all own mailbox stores and y'all offer a paper shredding service. So I thought, okay, well, why don't we do a paper shredding service? So actually, come over here real quick. So we actually did start a paper shredding service, but we were using this thing right here. And some of y'all may have that, that Amazon Basics uh, shredder. That thing Jonathan was going through and shredding papers, man. It took us like, I don't know, it, it, it took so long that it overheated. <laughs> so we had to step our game up and get a whole new shredder, which is down here so uh, uh, uh. Heavy, man. Got to get a whole new shredder. So one of the things we wanted to do is we wanted to have a PCI compliant shredder, meaning that we can shred financial documents and uh, medical documents just so it could be a little more secure for our, for our customers. So here we go. Here it is in here. 
pull this joint out. Uh, uh, damn. All right. So this is it. This thing was like, I don't know, 250, 70 bucks, 300, something like 300 bucks for this thing. And we'll compare this to the other one. We had this one last time, you can see. Jonathan was loading one at a time in here, and it was taking us hours and hours and hours to do it. But this one apparently, oh, it's got wheels on it too? But now we can just load 150 pages in here. Apparently, according to the instructions. Load 150 pages in here, and it'll automatically shred them. So, because uh, we already got a customer that hired us and paid us to do this service. So right now it's just free, up to 100 pages. That's one of the benefits of being a fish boss customer, and then um, they can use the service and hopefully get more value out of it. So we'll unwrap this and then we'll give it a test and report back. So these are this customer gave us all this there's probably like uh, literally like a thousand pages in here maybe even more and uh, I wasn't sure how challenging it would be to shred papers but when we had that little one we were literally loading them in like three or four at a time and it was taking us bro, it took you like an hour to do like a hundred pages and so th th we just don't have ten hours to get through all these so I'm just gonna grab like I don't know however many pages this is these up and then just load them in here just like that push this down and press go all right so sounds like oh yeah check this out not sure if y'all can see in there but everything is getting shredded up. And so we'll see how long that takes. Hey, what's up FedEx? How y'all doing today? All right, listen, I got a, this person right here, uh -huh. got a, a big pouch set. It's eight of eight big. I don't know if you take them or what, but yeah. How, how big when you say hey, real big? It's a couch. Like, uh, like, all, like all, all that? It's, a, it's bigger than that. It's a couch. Okay. It's a whole couch, but it's sectional. So it's like eight. Okay, it's eight big okay. Big. yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll take those. All right. All right, so as y'all can hear and see, FedEx just popped up with a bunch of stuff, and a customer's getting a whole couch thing delivered. So, um, yeah, it's not really that we can do about that. Usually customers give us a heads up, but this customer didn't. And uh, I know why, because they probably would have thought that we would have said no, which we wouldn't have. But we really do appreciate a heads up to be ready for stuff like this. We got a bunch of stuff here, but, uh, you know, we'll figure it out and I'll show you all exactly what's going on. FedEx just pulled up and, and they let me know that we got a bunch of super heavy stuff and big stuff for you. And uh, a whole okay. sectional couch. Are you guys uh, able to pick it up today? Okay, yeah, we can come up today. Okay, all right, sounds good. Yeah, they're loading it in now. All right, hold on, another shot of Jonathan's hair, dude. Look at this, bro, <laughs> looking fresh, bro. <laughs> so these all of them, y'all ever heard of this service called Love Sack here? We got a bunch of these. I'm not even gonna scan these. I'm just gonna have the customer come pick them up. But yeah, we got all that and all this to put put away. So let's get to work. thing just stopped I don't, I don't think it did all 150 pages but this light came on it said been full so uh, it's like we still got papers in there oh, there we go we just gotta, gotta smooth it out 
Look how look how small these get shredded up. HIPAA compliant. I'm not sure if y'all can see this. Let's see. There we go. Real tiny shreds. So let's do that. Let's close it back up. There we go. Back in business, bro. All right, J Money. So we're going to learn our postal right. today. I'm going to train you on that so that you can start scanning stuff. You got the app on your phone? Yeah, I got it. All right. You got it on? You able to log in? I didn't log in yet. I just downloaded it. All right. Go ahead. Log in. I think I sent you the username, password. You should have all that. Yeah. Let me check my Gmail. All right. All right. So any of y'all out there that are starting your mailbox store, haven't heard of iPostal, you should probably look them up. They're really good. We bring in... Uh, somewhere between 700 and a thousand dollars per month from using iPostal service it's pretty easy a virtual mail solution you can google it and see exactly what they do and how they do it you do have to scan the mail in and you do have to do certain things whenever any mail shows up so I want to show Jonathan how to do that and unfortunately iPostal doesn't have their training service anymore like Francisco went through so I got to teach him myself but it's not that hard to learn so I'm gonna get it on his phone I'm gonna teach him how to do it and uh, he's gonna be able to help me and Francisco out with all the mail. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is you wanna open up that homepage. You see where it says that magnifying glass? Yep, you wanna type right in there, or you wanna like type right in that in that area. Yeah. And every fish box, I mean, every iPostal customer has a number just like every fish box customer has a number. Mm -hmm. So you, I, I did a few for you here. So first thing you wanna do is, for this one, you wanna type the number in. Yep, and the, the name should come up and the name should read what that name reads, right? Mm -hmm. All right, cool. So what you wanna do is you wanna scan it. So you wanna allow, yep. And what I normally do is just line it up right in there. You wanna line the whole thing up. Oh, yep. like this? Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yep, just like that. Cool. Uh, okay, so not like uh, yep. Envoy? No, not Envoy. And it puts it there and then you're gonna do done. And um, you're gonna, for this one, since it's just mail, you'll click insert mail. But if you scroll down, you'll see it'll ask you, is it a large envelope, which this isn't a large envelope, it's just a regular one. And most of them are just gonna be letter. Mm -hmm. But if it's a package, you're gonna select package. If it's a magazine, magazine, and so, so on and so forth. So mm -hmm. for all the stuff I'm gonna give you right now, it's all gonna be letters. So then you click insert mail. You've got your marker on you. It's gonna give you, yeah. you, see that red number? Yeah. You're gonna to wanna to write that, that M, whatever number that is, and you're gonna to wanna to write it right here. Yep. Uh -huh. All right, cool. All right, cool. So then you're gonna put this to the side, and then see this, how it's gonna ask you, do you wanna put another one? So since this one is, is the same number as that one, you wanna click yes, and then it's just gonna bring it right back up, and you're gonna do the same thing. And done. Yep, and, and then insert mail. Yep, and then you're gonna write that same, you're gonna write, it's gonna give you a different number now. Ah. Yep, and then you're gonna write it there. In good handwriting. <laughs> so that me and Francisco can easily read it. There you go. All right, cool, then you stack it up here. Uh -huh. And see how this number is different than that number? See? Yeah. So you're not gonna, if, if, there, if this number was the same as that number, you would hit yes and it would just open the camera up again. But since this is a different account, you have to click no. It'll take you back to that screen. Remember when you type that number in for that mail? Yeah. Now you wanna type this number in for this mail. And then when you type it in, you want to make sure that the name matches up with that number. Yep. There you go. And then you want to click that guy. Yep. And then you want to do it again. Uh, and that's all you do. Oh, pretty simple. It's real simple, right? Yeah. Cool. I appreciate it. So is this just one right the runway? Yeah, that one on my ticket? This one right on the top. You able to scan it too? Yeah. Thank you, brother. Yeah, we don't normally do UPS, but I let one customer bring it back. So I appreciate you taking it. Thank you, brother. Have a good weekend. All right, brother. Let me show you how to put them away. So you just come over here. So you're going to want to open up the uh, the bottom one. Yep. You see all the numbers? Yeah. Each one of the folders has a number on there. So you just take the the, num the ones one by one and stick them into those folders. All right. Yep. All right. So we got about 150 pages here. We're going to load it into this thing. And uh, I'll try to leave a link in the description. This ain't an ad or nothing like that. Just in case y'all want to buy the same thing and I'll let you guys have access to that. So I'm going to load about 150 pages into this thing right here. All right. So it's uh, 1120 and I'm going to push this down and we'll let it go. We'll see you in a little bit. All right. So unfortunately, we can't finish this test right now because this whole drone is full. So I need you to empty that drone out into one of those trash bags, bro. Yeah, I got you, bro. Uh, we got any trash bags in there? Uh, let me go see. All right, bring at least one. Now. I think we should be able to fit all this in one trash bag. 
This is looking good though. So in addition to this being shredded, you may even be able to use this as packing materials instead of like that styrofoam and stuff like that. All right, so one of these bins is gonna fill up a 13 gallon pretty much uh, trash bag. So just be aware of that, but I think that's a fair trade. So uh, let's dump that out and let's start this test over again. All right, so we're gonna try this one more time. We got an empty bin. I feel like that's a safe test, that's a, a proper test. We got about 150 pages in here, looking good. Here we go. Slide it under there, slide it in. Pack it down. All right, it's about the max right here. So let's slide it down. And let it do. Let us do it. Let it do its thing. And it is 11:36 a.m. right now. And uh, we'll see you on a little bit. All right, bro. While that's doing this thing, man, let's get a couple pictures of your new haircut, man. What you think? Yeah, it sounds good, bro. So it's over now, just finished up. I actually had to move it around a little bit because it got jammed a little bit, but it just took like a couple seconds. So we started at 11.36 a.m. and finished at 11.47 a.m. So for about 150 pages, which is the max that you can load in there at a time, it takes about 11 minutes, so do with that what you meant. All right, bro, I got some pictures here, man. Take a look at some of these drones, bro. Let me know what you think. All right. Let's see, so just press, press this the first one, just press that way. Uh, Let me know what you think of any of those. Are they any good? Yeah, I really like it. The lighting is nice too. It's great, right? That's so why I told you, you get out in that sunlight, bro. That natural light, especially when it's hitting in the springtime like this. Yeah. Alright, what's up YouTube? So I've been, I've been practicing some magic now and I'm going to show you guys some magic. So I got this I got this stick right here. So y'all keep your eye on this stick. And this ain't no deep fake. This ain't no AI. I'm going to make this disappear. And then I'm gonna make it reappear in thin air. This is magic. This isn't no nothing else. This is magic. All right. So you ready? Yes. So sir. watch. Keep your eye on, on that stick right there. You ready? All right. One, two, three. It's <laughs> out of here. You see that? Yeah. I'm gonna make it reappear. You ready? One, two, three. Just grab it out of thin air. You see that? Yeah. All right. I'm, I'm gonna make it disappear one more time, just so y'all can see it in real time. Ready? And <clears throat> it's out of here. <laughs> hey, what's up, Fishbox friends? So it's about 1:59, so the day's pretty much over now. Great day, busy day, beautiful day outside. Spring is officially here. Just had a great day overall. Hope you guys are as well. Thank you again. Like, comment, and subscribe. That really would mean a lot. I want to hit y'all with some numbers that we have. So this week we had 1,100 packages exactly that showed up at Fishbox, and last week we had 1,056. So that was about a 4% increase, so pretty much a little bit more than last week, but we're moving in the right direction. So thank you again for checking out the content, and again, like, comment, and subscribe. It means a lot. See y'all next time. Peace.